Right. yesterday. What, 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 what one video and give this a change? Smart chat, smiley face, Uzi, dummy, I'll, 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 I'll let you do it. You know? Finally, a real person doing a review. Love it. Keep them coming. I love her so much. She always has such a positive, fun, relaxing vibe. You know what I realized? I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and say it. Why do girls always guess up? Like, I can't even say it actually. Never mind. I can't say this. The Slayton sisters would receive their first big break after posting a video titled Chubby Bunny Challenge, which would go on to gain a view. Bro, bro. Bro. Girl, like, some of these girls are mad fake, bro. Because, like, if these girls were hella attractive and hot, they'd be like, wow, these girls have such an ego. But since, you know what I'm saying, like, no offense, but since, you know, they're a little bit of, like, on the beanbag scale, they're like, yes, queen, slay that shit, bitch. We love that. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. Come on, like, don't do that shit. You count in the millions. However, when examining the video's <laughs> thumbnail and dislike ratio, it was pretty obvious that it had gone viral as a result of people watching to laugh at their physical appearances. How does man? I salute this channel for not disabling comments, that takes bravery. I genuinely didn't know it was possible for the human body to lay adipose tissue on the forehead. Any Holy shit, good shit Lisa, yes ma'am. But despite the hate, the hundreds of thousands of views across the videos still brought in others who were- Like look at Nikki, I'm in here in 2020, couldn't be proud of her accomplishments. You go girl, you prove the haters wrong, keep them up. Mm -hmm. I want to hug this woman and her sister, hope they are well and doing wonderful on their journey to health. Love and prosper to thumb bros. I, I love how she said, girl, that eyeliner makes my green eyes pop. Lol, you're a trip, girl. Stay like you are. Don't pay attention to the haters. You made me smile today. Yes, ma'am. Slay that, queen. Slay that. Yes, ma'am. To appreciated the relaxed nature of the channel, growing their fans <laughs> further. Oh, yes, you're so man. cute. Well known on your makeup and ignore all the negative comments. The Slayton sisters would set up their first GoFundMe, requesting that their audience help them buy an Apple MacBook with the goal of increasing the quality of their videos. Now, most of their audience felt as though there was nothing wrong with this proposal. The audience sends a bit of money through, the sisters get a new laptop, and in return, the audience gets a higher average video quality, which is seemingly a win win for both parties. However, on the contrary, some of her viewers felt as though the Slayton sisters were abusing their power as YouTubers. In comments such as, delete this, you are going to lose all your subscribers. You're a pathetic lowlife that needs to get off your ass and get a damn job like the rest of us instead of mooching off of us. You are disgusting. And if I were you, thank God I am not, I couldn't wake up in the mornings. Oh shit, Ruby, you're Ruby. Yes ma'am. While Amy did receive a bit of hate, the operation will prove to be successful after raising over $833. Why was it out of 10K though? They put a mark at 10K? Boy, what kind of MacBook you buying? That, does that shit transform? Motherfucker's trying to buy a MacBook that's like forms into Bumblebee or something. Motherfucker's trying to buy a Transformer. Like what? Showing the Slayton sisters that it was not <laughs> possible, but simple, to extract money from their audience through GoFundMe, which had become a vital piece of information for the main scandal to be covered in this video. The audience assumed that Amy had taken the dog to the pound to have it put down, resulting in the popular opinion that Amy was an animal abuser. I can't imagine this woman owning a German Shepherd. Shepherds need tons of activity both physically and mentally. She couldn't even take care of herself, let alone such a strong and intelligent- Honestly, true. Breed. I'm sorry, but I highly doubt she ran after the German Shepherd. You need to be relatively active to own a dog like a German Shepherd, and you need to be trained to be able to take care of an abused large dog. This sentiment will become- <laughs> Yo, these comments are like you guys, bro. They just flame. I feel bad for a little bit because she sat outside in a hot car while we were having fun. But I did, while we were at, uh, getting something to eat, I did get a, a little bit some uh, ice water. So I thought about it, at least. Amy said I was going to get her some water. What a selfish, disgusting bunch of But you see, you see, but you see how the, the sisters throw each other under the bus? Like, if they were in this together, obviously it's still a scandal and they're both dumbasses. But like she's throwing her her sister in the bus just for her to gain m more money. You know what I'm saying? That just shows how nasty she is. Following this, Amy would go on to upload her video discussing the night where she would completely dox the guy in the comment section with his Facebook. Is he talking to you? Like, did he apologize? Her date's name is... Oh my God, she... Fl Yo, you played RuneScape, Amy? How'd you learn how to dox? <laughs> Motherfuckers thinking IPs and shit. Yo, yo, hit a router. Oh, hit a router. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker's well, trying to kick her off his internet as well. What? <laughs> David just broke up with me. Yes. I'm ready for some rest.
Now y'all see why I don't tell people who I'm updating. <laughs> because y'all bully and harass me. <laughs> and then he don't. And while this would mark the end of Amy and Tammy's reputational base game. You know, I want to say something. Ma'am, I know you're crying right now, but I do want you to realize that crying is free. So you could cry as much as you want, because at the end of the day, it is free. Go ahead and cry. Scandals. It would ironically mark the beginning of what would be many financial controversies. The merch site was suspicious from the very beginning and read as follows. If you purchase Tammy's merch, you'll be added to a private group chat with Tammy. To purchase, head over to the donate section and donate the appropriate amount. $35 for t-shirts, $50 for hoodies. What? Bro, this is so sketch. What the hell? Then head to the contact section and email us with the email you used to make the purchase. The reason that the Slayton sisters requested for purchases to donate the appropriate Chat, this is why I give you guys my merch. My merch is not that expensive. And it looks way better. I mean or no? Things I do for my community. God damn it. This artist would take to Instagram in a post reading, I wasn't being unfair at all, just saying how my artwork is being passed off as someone else's when I spent time doing it, and I've now been blocked, yet my design is still up on your website. Not really fair at all. All I wanted was credit for it, that's all. As a result of this scan- These sisters are legit shameless mother ruckers, like- Shameless! ...bringing us to the infamous funeral scam. It began when- Oh no, what funeral scam? Talk to us, talk to us! Which would become even funny when Amy stated that the money was to fund Tammy's triple size extra large coffin. But Tammy being so big, if something does happen, her coffin is gonna cost them more because they have to triple the size of the coffin. She is on a medical car. The medical cars will not come. Boy, that's a answer! Show sure dumb ass. Tombo. She's not even dead yet. What is she pre-firing for? I'm not understanding. Amy would state that she had transferred the money to her mother to pay for Tammy's medical bills. The money that y'all donated for Tammy when she was in the hospital, I gave it to my mother who paid bills with Tammy's bills. Regardless if that's what she used the money for or not, that's what I did with it. I gave it to my mother who paid these sisters are finessing the system. But honestly, it doesn't look like, yeah, $800 is a lot of money, but with, their, with the community behind them, and I, and I think they have like a couple of hundred K subscribers, you could just tell their community doesn't support them. Like, like that, uh, absolutely not. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could just tell their, their, their own viewers know that like they're scammers at this point. Then in another video stating that the receipts had been thrown out completely. I know I've been wrong. I should not have thrown receipts away. But in my head, I wasn't thinking, well, these are Receipts for what? They had $800 McDonald's order you and Tammy ordered? Yeah, I know about it. Yeah. And the groceries you bought. Brownies, cookies, what else? Two gallons of milk? I'm sick of this ziggory shit. Talk about receipts. Receipts for what? Fast food? DoorDash? Uber Eats? I'm done with these lies. And when I found out, Amy did the whole... Yo, Tammy just... Uh, so, this is how it's working. Amy farms money for both of them. Tammy throws her under the bus and farms money on her own channel, too. They are just pythons, brother. Go fund me thing. The most interesting part about the whole... Oda, you know what's crazy? Like, she's not even asking for help. It just looks like her fore forehead is. What? What the hell are you... Yeah, you're going to hell. Unfortunately, the same can't be said for Tammy, whose continual weight gain underpins much of the show's entertainment. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, she's kind of strong. That tricep kind of thick, my boy. Huh? Yo, how much can you bench, Tammy? Factor. The show just had its third season with well <laughs> oh, over one shoot. million viewers per episode. Oh, shoot. Oh my god, that tries to kind of big, my boy. Unfortunately, the same can't be said for Tammy, <laughs> whose continual weight gain <laughs> underpins much of the show's entertainment factor. The show just had its third season yeah, they're scammers, and they're just trying to milk the community for everything they have. Disgusting, man. Her arms look like, uh, that shit those fake bodybuilders use when they put oil in their, in their biceps. You know what I'm talking about? Can't remember what, what it's called. It's like some type of oil. It, that, that's literally what, she looked like a fucking balloon. May God forgive me for saying that, but that's the truth. <laughs> All right, guys, if you guys are watching this, you know what I'm saying? Click the subscribe button down here. Now, to the video to the left, that is a previous video. You might want to check that out. Fire ass shit in there. And to the right, you're going to have to see for yourself. Make sure you sub down below. Fizz. I said fizz.